What if you could read anybody's inner thoughts and emotions without one of these or these, but just by pointing a camera at them? This is Truthsayer. It's a remote lie detector, and it works just by analyzing video of your face. I built it to see just how much information a person gives away on camera. Then I tested it out on friends and coworkers, politicians, and celebrities to answer the burning questions we all have, like... Mark, are the allegations true that you're secretly a lizard? Um, but before I can share the results of analyzing Zuckerberg's Senate testimony, I have to explain what we're measuring here. Similar to a traditional polygraph, we're looking for changes in a person's baseline behavior to identify unusual signals. One measure the truthsayer shares with polygraphs is heart rate. Using computer vision, we can analyze a face for subtle patterns of color changes that are invisible to the human eye. In each of those little rectangles, it's literally watching the blood pump through your cheeks. Estimated heart rate is shown up here as beats per minute, along with the number of likely heartbeats recently found. Each peak identified here is a momentary increase in color intensity in the cheeks that corresponds to a likely heartbeat. Now we do need fairly still, well-lit video, and if you have very dark skin or lots of makeup, heart rate detection can have a pretty tough time. Under the right conditions though, I know the pulse monitor is accurate because I could test it on myself. But first it has to recognize that you're human, which for Zuck turned out to be a problem. I, I, am, I am not a lizard. The algorithm just finds the most likely face, so I had to censor out other people to put Zuck in focus. Except, he still wasn't the most likely human identified. Maybe bigger sensor bars? There we go. We'll come back to Zuck, but first let's cover what else we're measuring besides heart rate. To identify deception, we track psychologically relevant cues, like changes in a person's rate of blinking, or direction of their gaze, compressing the lips together, and touching or covering up the face. For significant changes in each of these signals, our deception meter bumps a little more over from truth toward deceit. As expert behavioral analyst Spidey explains, what we're looking for is clusters of behaviors, meaning a bunch of behaviors that we know happen more often with deception. When we see a lot of those behaviors happening at the same time, it raises the probability that there might be deception taking place. For more details on the research behind signs like blink rate, facial touching, lip compression, I highly recommend you check out Spidey's Behavioral Arts channel. Testing this out of the wild, it was tough to find good footage of lies that I know are deception. Professional poker players, for example, don't leave much to analyze. And politicians just stick to scripted, rehearsed talking points, so even if they lie, it's surprisingly tough to catch unplanned reactions on camera. So I borrowed a couple liars who had already been analyzed by our friend Spidey. First up, a forensic analyst later accused of planting evidence who's being interviewed about the case in question. Forensic work. It's kind of black and white in a lot of ways. There's not much gray area. This DNA belongs to this individual or it doesn't. So what did you find in the car when you reprocessed it? Um, let's see, what did I find? So in one sentence. What, what happened with the speck of blood in the contour? Well, it was well after the fact. I was trying to figure out how it got there. That was in our bio, uh, biohazard room, and... We picked up his change in gaze, blink rate, and lip compression here, but you probably didn't need Truthsayer's help to point this one out as deception. Next up, actor Andrew Garfield was widely rumored to appear in the last Spider-Man movie. And unlike Tom Holland, Tom's a really bad liar. He was pretty good at keeping a secret through multiple interviews. But let's see if Truthsayer can catch him. It's a bit jittery from all the jump cuts, but pay attention to what he's saying versus the truth meter up top. Uptown Funk, I wish. It's Andrew Garfield playing Spider-Man again. Yeah. Oh, you almost got me. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crying out loud. But I'm excited to see what they're going to do with the next movie because I, I just love them. Is Andrew Garfield alive? What do you think? What do you see? With Truthsayer's help, we could easily identify the combination of mouth covering, change in gaze, and change in blink rate, none of which happened in a cluster like that in the rest of his interview. You might have noticed that Truthsayer is built to identify mood as well, and can pick up on quick micro-expressions that a human might miss. Unlike other measures, mood detection is not relative to a person's baseline. So if you have resting bitch face, it might just mm -hmm. say you're angry all the time. All right, back to Zuck. And I was human. I am human, still. I did find occasional signs of a reasonable pulse. Although to be fair, Truthsayer only expects beats in the range of 50 to 150 beats per minute, while some lizards can go as low as 10 beats per minute. In terms of deception, he was entirely truthful during the Senate hearing. 
If anything, Truthsayer reported a remarkable lack of variation with an almost robotic consistency. But he didn't need to lie. The questions were so terrible, he spent most of 10 hours explaining how the internet works. People use cookies on the internet. Senator, the data is in the system, so. They have the ability. Technically, I think someone could do that. Senator, we run ads. The only real dirt I could dig up here was when Truthsayer called out this dude in the background picking his nose. Mm. Now this obviously isn't a scientific study. My code's in the description below if you want to check it out. Don't go use this on every Zoom call you have, please. But I think it's important to explore what's possible. And now that I know how much information we give away just by getting in front of a camera, all of my videos will be in 480p in bad lighting, featuring the less revealing potato face. Was that the truth? Who can say?